Hello, ETHS family. Thank you for doing what has been necessary to respond urgently and professionally to this pandemic crisis. Through our collective spirit of problem solving and cooperation, we have continued classes and the education for our students. We've looked out for the well being of our ETHS family, and we have pushed forward under difficult circumstances. This crisis has posed unprecedented challenges that we will never forget. And collectively, we have been figuring this out and meeting all those challenges. As I shared with the class of 2020 on graduation day, we must move forward, but with courage and vulnerability. I wish I could tell you that your graduation marks the end of this virus and that your lives can now return to the way they were before March 13th when we closed ETHS for public health reasons. However, here at ETHS, we respect science, medical research, and health professionals. And so we know that this pandemic is not nearly over. Brenny Brown, the author of five New York Times bestsellers, is a noted researcher and scholar who has spent her career studying courage, vulnerability, and empathy. And she has visited ETHS, and some of you may have read her books or even heard her here at ETHS for a fan presentation in our own auditorium. Dr. Brown has written this. I spent a lot of years trying to outrun and outsmart vulnerability by making things certain and definite, black and white, good and bad. My inability to lean into the discomfort of vulnerability limited the fullness of those important experiences that are wrought with uncertainty. Love, belonging, trust, joy, creativity, just to name a few. Today, life as we have known it is wrought with uncertainty and our lives in ETHS will never be the same. This uncertainty will bring us discomfort and more challenges, but also new opportunities. We will together be required to respond to directives from Governor Pritzker, the Illinois State Board of Education, the Illinois Department of Public Health, and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But let's use this as an opportunity to create the best future for ETHS. With that in mind, our ETHS leadership team has been working with colleagues along with others around the country to identify possible scenarios for what next school year might look like. And you'll be receiving information about these scenarios. If the governor and ISBE reopen all schools or provide regional flexibility for reopening, we will work closely with the Illinois Department of Public Health, the Cook County Department of Public Health, and local health care resources to identify the conditions regarding whether to open and, if so, what is the safest scenario to accomplish this feat. But please know this, the guiding principle driving any decisions we are empowered to make locally will be for the safety of our students and adults at ETHS, as well as for the safety of our community. We can anticipate with certainty that wearing face coverings, social distancing, regular and repeated hand washing, sanitizing and daily deep cleaning of virtually everything will be part of our regular lives and necessary for conducting in-person school at ETHS for the foreseeable future. I look forward to seeing you this fall, adapting to whatever might be necessary at that time. But please, keep yourself safe this summer. Take every precaution. Take care of yourselves. Practice being mindful. And ask for help when you need it. Be well. <laughs>